So today we're going to be testing out some new makeup for mature skin. I picked up the new Too Faced Ethereal Light Radiant Concealer. I also have a new glow foundation with an SPF of 15. I can't wait to dive into these products. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about mature skin and what works best for our complexion. I have so many amazing products that I've been testing out that I actually really love. But before we get into the video, I wanted to share with you, hello, do you like this look? I am so hip and so chic. These are actually my prescription glasses from Hip Optical. So let me tell you a little bit of where I got these amazing chic glasses. Now, I wear glasses 99.9% .9 of the time. I just can't deal with contact lenses anymore, only for those rare special occasions. But for every day, I want to look chic. I want to look hip. And Hip Optical is just exactly that. I have spent literally almost $500, $500 on my regular glasses. Go to the store, you have to go to the optometry store, pick out your frames, then they have to send them off, put in your prescription lenses, and then you have to go back and pick them up. I don't have time for that. I work full time, I have a family. It's just a pain, it's a pain in the butt. So when Hip Optical approached me and they asked me if I wanted to test out their glasses, I said, heck yeah, because that's exactly what I need because I don't wanna deal with the hassle and the money of purchasing new glasses. First of all, their frames are absolutely gorgeous. They are so chic, they're so beautiful. They come in a wide variety. They also have men's style too. All you have to do is pick out your frames. I had a really difficult time picking out mine. Mine are called the Ramirez. Aren't they super cute? Then you just upload a copy of your prescription and bam, you can get progressive lenses, you can get reader glasses, you can even get sunglasses. The reason why Hip Optical can deliver so fast is that all the prescription lenses are made here in the US and in their lab in Florida. Shout out to my friends in Florida. <laughs> Hip Optical has a team of fashion designers that design custom styles to match the latest fashion trends. So they're not just reselling glasses, they design their own glasses from scratch, paying attention to every detail. Hip Optical knows that buying glasses online is hard. If you can't try them on, trust me, I know the pain. So they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. They will make your glasses with your prescription. You can try them on for 30 days and if you're still not in love with them, you can send them back. They actually will eat the manufacturing costs so there's literally no risk to you. So when I ordered my frames, they arrived within a week. It was that easy. They fit perfectly. They're super light and comfortable. I love them so much. I actually turned around and bought another pair. I'll show you a picture right here. They're called the Senti. And if you're interested in purchasing a pair of glasses, definitely use my code so you can get $15 off your pair. And thanks again to Hip Optical for letting me be hip and chic. How you doing? You guys, I am super excited about this video because I've been religiously testing out these products and I wanted to make sure they were geared for our mature skin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I've already applied my primer. It just smooths every single pore. It really fills in the lines. Your foundation looks fantastic on top of it. I've been so obsessed with the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. Not only is this a beautiful primer that smooths every single pour and fills in those lines. It's actually good for you. It has collagen peptides, so it plumps up your skin. It smells fantastic. I highly recommend this, especially if you want to have that beautiful smooth canvas. Now that my skin is nice and primed, I'm going in with the Dior Forever Glow Foundation. Now, this retails for $54. I know, super expensive, but hear me out. It comes in 42 shades. It has a medium coverage and a radiant finish. It's hydrating, it's long wearing, and has an SPF of 15. And I'm in the shade 1.5 Warm. This is probably the bougiest foundation I've ever tested out, but you guys, I had to see what all the hype was about. It comes in a glass bottle. It's made in France and it has the expiration date stamped on the back of the bottle. This expires in October of 2023. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand. It's quite thick, but it feels like silk on the skin and it does promise a radiant finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the center of my face and it does have a slight scent to it, 
but it does dissipate after a while. Now you can apply it with your fingertips or use a dampened beauty sponge to get sheer coverage, but I love my BK 101. It is the best foundation brush. It is synthetic and I just like to stipple it in. And I feel like this foundation really is so skin-like. I don't feel like I'm wearing a mask. It looks absolutely natural on my complexion. And just using this method really is effective. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It just provides a beautiful medium radiant coverage. You guys, I've been testing out this foundation for at least the last couple of weeks and not one day it looked bad on my skin. I was shocked. Usually when I test out a foundation initially, it looks fantastic for like the first day. And then the second time I try it, eh, 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 you know, but this, it consistently looked amazing on my skin. Is it expensive? Heck yeah. But sometimes you get what you pay for. Okay, I went ahead and turned down my studio lights so you can see up close and personal. Do you see how skin-like this foundation looks on my skin? It feels like I'm not wearing anything. It feels completely natural. I don't look like I'm wearing a mask. I mean, after last week's review of the Revolution in Real Life Foundation, oh my God, that foundation was so bad. But it just lays so smooth on my complexion. It looks very skin-like, very soft, and it's comfortable. I still have plenty on the back of my hand, so I'm gonna take the rest of it and just hit right where I have the most hyperpigmentation and discoloration. Although I have been testing out some new skincare and I can't wait to share my results with you in an upcoming video, but I have been super pleased with the results. But yes, I like testing out skincare well in advance before I give my informed opinion so I can share my true results with you. But yeah, that will be in an upcoming video. You can still see my skin underneath. It looks absolutely natural. It just takes it to that next level. But yeah, I love testing out foundation for our mature skin. We all have different skincare needs. We all have different types of complexions. But yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. It has not let me down. But that's what I love doing is testing out every type of foundation, whether it's drugstore or high end, and I am willing to take one for the team. But yeah, I still have plenty of foundation left on the back of my hand. So you see, if it's $54 and you use a tiny amount, a little bit goes a long way. Now for concealer. I picked up the brand new Too Faced Ethereal Light Radiant Concealer. It is from their Born This Way line. Now this retails for $26 and it comes in 18 shades. I'm in the shade Graham Cracker. I love how it's named after food. Is that just me? I guess it's Easier for me to remember my shade in a concealer if it's named after food. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid, as well as squalane and argan oil. So it's gonna smooth that under eye area. It's gonna be hydrating if you have dry under eyes like I do. Now it comes out in like a little doe foot like this. It's not too big. I do like a doe foot that's smaller so you can get into the nooks and crannies of your under eye area. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a tiny bit right where I need, brightening, where I have discoloration. Remember, less is more when you're using concealer. It does have a heavier consistency than foundation, so you don't want it to end up settling into your fine lines. Now, I tend to get a little red through here, and if I want to brighten, I'm just going to go right between my brows. And I like to take the heat of my fingertips and tap it under my eyes. Now, I'm sorry, my fingernail looks black because I just got my hair colored, and <laughs> I had hair dye all over my head and I accidentally had an itch and that's why I, I have hair dye under my fingernail. I know, it looks gross, sorry. But just tapping it and a pro tip is to let your concealer warm up on your skin for about 30 seconds. That way it's a little bit more emollient when you tap it out with your ring finger and it blends out quicker, easier, without settling into those fine lines. This is a beautiful concealer because it's medium coverage. It's not gonna be full coverage, but I find it's just so light and brightening. And I like to apply my concealer through here to give my eyes that natural lift. That blended out so easily. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't think I've ever tried Too Faced concealers. You can use a dampened beauty sponge just to tap it in, 
but I find using my finger was just so easy and quick. And then whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just gonna tap it onto my eyelids. Super brightening, super smoothing, super radiant. I do have a drier under eye area, so I like using a concealer that's hydrating, especially if it has squalane, hyaluronic acid. It's not cakey, it doesn't settle into my fine lines. I think it's really pretty and makes my skin look radiant. Now for bronzer, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Cream Bronzer. You know, I've been absolutely loving this cream bronzer. It's just so quick and easy to apply. Plus it has skin loving ingredients to hydrate your complexion, to make it look nice and juicy. It doesn't pull too orange. It just gives me that beautiful natural kiss look. It's sweat proof, it's humidity proof, and I find that it just lays beautifully on the complexion. Bronzer is on. Now for blush, I'm going in with the Merit Beauty Flush Balm Cream Blush. Now this retails for $28 and it comes in five shades and I got the shade Cheeky. This has been sold out. It was so hard to get my hands on, but I finally got the Cheeky shade. Cheeky is such a beautiful, cool tone pink shade. It's super balmy. It's also infused with vitamin E to hydrate your complexion. It just adds such a beautiful flush of color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it with my fingertips and just tap it onto my skin right above where I applied that cream bronzer. And it just looks beautiful on the skin without adding that texture. It looks like that lit from within complexion. And I love how Merit Beauty is not made with any sort of synthetic fragrance. Everything is clean and it just provides such a radiant, such a beautiful, juicy cheek. It's not lifting up that very expensive foundation. I find that everything is in place. It just looks absolutely natural on the skin. You can also use the flush balm on your eyelids. You can use it on your lips for a monochromatic look. You know I love a good cream blush. And this one, excellent. It's so pretty. Now for eyeshadow. I recently reviewed the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette, and I've been using this eyeshadow palette every single day since I reviewed it because the formula is that good and it's that versatile. So first I'm gonna start out with Carpe Diem, which is like this beautiful terracotta shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right above my crease and just buffing it in over the crease and covering the top of my lid. I'm just depositing that color and sharing it out and buffing it in. Super easy, wow. We all know Natasha Denona is well known for her formulas and this is no exception. This is just blending in so effortlessly. You can just put on some eyeliner and mascara and call it a day for that one and done eyeshadow look. It just brings a nice warmth to your complexion, super easy to apply. And like I said, I'm just bringing it up to the brow all the way up and diffusing it out. On a smaller tapered brush, I'm gonna go in with Nurture. It's like this beautiful suede color, gorgeous. And I'm just gonna deepen up that transitional shade right through here like that. Now with a smaller tapered brush, I'm going to go in with Aspiration, this beautiful deep chocolate brown. And I'm going to tap it along my lash line up the outer thirds of my eye, kind of stamping it out, if you will, like that. and then flicking it up, beautiful. And then same thing on the other side, just tapping it along the outer thirds of my eye and then flicking it up. And then whatever's left on that brush, just running it along the lash line. This eyeshadow palette is really, truly versatile. That is one of the primary reasons why I purchase larger eyeshadow palettes like this. If I know that I can't pull from this every single day, I'm not gonna buy it, especially at that price point. This makes it so easy because you have such a great palette to pull from. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger with Serenity. Now this shade as well as Black is Black are the only two repeats in this eyeshadow palette. The remaining shades are new formulations, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap Serenity Serenity now, all over the lid. And it's like penny copper shade. It's so smooth and silky. It's not gonna show the texture on your eyelids. My eyelids are not the smoothest, but 
when applying Serenity, it just looks like glass. It is so pretty. Super easy, everyday look. I love it. Now I'm just gonna go in with that second brush and just buff it out so we don't have any harsh lines. You can come up with so many looks, especially everyday looks, and this is one of my favorites. Super easy, super simple. Now if you wanna have like a lower lash line, if you wanna go ahead and smoke out your lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with Nurture on a pencil brush and just smoke it out a little bit more. Easy peasy. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some eyeliner and mascara. We're gonna dive into the Cali Ray Glazed and Infused Plumping Lip Balm. Okay, eyeliner and mascara on. I just went ahead and tight line my upper waterline with the Wayne Goss Cole Pencil. This is in brown. It's been a really long time since I've used this pencil, but I thought with this beautiful neutral everyday eyeshadow look, I would go in with a brown pencil. It's a little softer, a little more muted than black, and I think it looks absolutely natural. Here's the tip. If you have difficulty tight lining your upper waterline, I like to look down in my mirror, angle my mirror like this, almost to a 40 degree angle. So all you have to do is look down and just run your eyeliner under your upper lash line. That way you don't have to tug on your skin. If you look down into your mirror, your eyes are slightly half opened. You can easily run that eyeliner like that. Super easy. And of course, for mascara, I went in with my favorite to date, the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. You guys, I tested this out a couple of weeks ago. I love how it's lengthening without smudging or budging. It is a beautiful tubing formula, and at the end of the day, it's super easy to wash off with just a little warm water and soap. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area with my trusty Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because that Radiant Concealer from Too Faced is quite emollient, and I wanna set everything in place because when you smile and you make expressions on your face, you do create those lines. I mean, I have lines there, see? So when you set it with a good translucent powder with an emollient concealer like that, this will prevent it to settling into your fine lines. Now, you know I love Cali Ray's So Blown Blurring Primer. So I had to pick up a couple of their glazed and infused no burn plumping lip gloss. It retails for $19 and it comes in six shades. I picked up two shades, Orchid Ranch and Lost and sauced. You guys, these names are cracking me up. It's a clean lip gloss that glides like an oil, hydrates like a cushiony balm, and it has biomimetic peptide to plump your lips now and over time. Okay, and it's supposed to be no burn. First, I wanna go in with the shade Lost and Sauced. I love how it's packaged, it's super cute. Looks like one of those old Vaseline lip balms. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Oh, this is super pretty. They're right, there's no burn. It feels like a lip oil, but also a balm at the same time. It's super silky on my lips. I actually got this on their Labor Day sale at Sephora. I got it for $9. I love it. I love how shiny it is, how glossy it is. I love the shade Lost and Sauced. It, it looks like my lips with a little bit of pigment. That is super pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with Orchid Ranch. This color is so pretty. It's like a plummy color. That is really, really pretty. Do you see how it doesn't have a lot of pigment, but just a hint of it? So you, my lips are like a berry color. I think it looks really nice with the Merit Flush Balm in Cheeky and it just kind of ties in that whole look together. It's very soft, very feminine. I think it's really pretty. Is it plumping? I'm gonna have to say no. Uh, in my experience, it hasn't really plumped my lips, but I think it's super comfortable and light on the lips. Very high shine, very glossy. It's a clean formula. I love the shades. I love the whole packaging. You can just throw it in your purse. I think it's super pretty. For highlighter, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on a little bit of the Halo Glow Liquid Filter and just tap a little bit on right where I want to have a beautiful glassy skin right through here. This is absolutely beautiful. And I think it's available at Target now. So if you've been trying to get your hands on the Halo Glow Liquid Filter from e.l.f., you can now get it at Target. The Halo Glow Liquid Filter does have skin-loving ingredients like squalane and hyaluronic acid to hydrate your skin. 
That's what I love about these products. Every single one of these products are, I think, fantastic for mature skin, especially if you have a normal to dry complexion like I do. We're heading into fall, we're heading into winter, so my skin is gonna need all the hydration it can get. But yes, here we are with the final look. Super happy with how everything turned out. I think the foundation just gives such a nice, natural, skin-like look without looking cakey or overdone. The concealer from Too Faced, the Ethereal Radiant Light Concealer, beautiful, lightweight texture. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. It's gonna hydrate that under eye area with the hyaluronic acid and the squalene and the coconut water. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today and letting me share all these fantastic goodies. And thanks again to Hip Optical for making me look chic and hip and helping me see. So thanks again for hanging out with me today. I had fun. I hope you did too. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. In case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahalkita, I love you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.